Hello, today we will be building a window with clear glass. First, you want to build some sort of rectangle, and make it whatever size you want. Then, you want to start cutting a hole into the square with the edge loop, and delete the faces you cut out. Then you want to not use the fill hole tool, but the bridge tool, to create the sides in the hole. Make sure you use zero divisions, as it makes it easier in the long run. Remember to adjust your object size as a whole, if you want to change the window size. Now, we will want to smooth the window, so it looks better, so we will move the corners down, and start cutting more edges into the shape, to improve the smoothing. Make sure to put at least one edge loop on each edge, and do check smooths, as you can always undo a smooth. Create a new square, and try to get it to fill the inside of the window. After that, create a rectangle, and fit it into your window like so. Copy the shape, and rotate it to create that nice cross support. Open the Hypershade tool, and create a new blend. T 
tint it whatever color you want and turn down the transparency. Apply it to the square you made to be the glass, and change the default texture to brown, and you got yourself a basic window. Make sure to adjust your window, until everything looks to your liking. Now that we have the basic texturing and modeling done, let's add a bit more detail. Start by smoothing your supports, to give that nice matching look. Now click on the checker square next to color. Then, click on the file option. Once the file menu pops up, click on the folder next to image name. I already have a decent wood image, so I will just find it and load it. By default, file-based textures are turned off in the preview window. To see it while editing, just turn on hardware texturing under shading. Now, let's make a nice little window box. Highlight the edge of the bottom, and use the extrude tool. Make sure to narrow the sides in, so it looks nice. Now we will extrude the front to create the lip. However, the sides will extrude sideways, so just follow along to the actions on screen. Once you line it up, it should look fine.
you now have a decent window. Make sure to leave a 5-star rating.